Hello, and welcome to the weekly whip and chats. Uh, I'm still working on Victorious Moon. I haven't worked all that much uh, because I'm all into cross stitching at the moment. So I think I've only diamond painted like one day last week. And the crazy thing is, it feels like I haven't talked about or with you guys for like very long. And actually, I usually record my whipping chats in the weekend and they're posted uh, on Thursday because I'm kind of busy and need the time to, you know, edit and everything. But I didn't have time this weekend to do it. So it's actually Thursday today, the Thursday I'm supposed to release uh, the whipping chat. But um, I think it's number 16. Uh, so we'll see if I manage to edit and um, upload and everything today. We'll see. Otherwise, it will be tomorrow on Friday. So yeah, I'm working on Victoria's Moon. It's the lion. And I'm more than halfway. And as I said last time, if I actually just diamond paint it for a week, it would be finished because it's nice and easy. It's round drills. And yeah, clear symbols, hardly any trash. The only thing I don't like at the moment is the wax, which seems to dry off like right away but I don't think it's the wax I received in this this kit so I can't you know say that it's yeah I think it's some other wax I got from another kit and I hope there is no glare for you guys So yeah, I'm doing the black heart symbols and that's the color 939. And it is the 28th of November today. It's rainy and it's not very cold. It's not minus degrees, but it's been rainy and it's been gray for, wow, that went off like a, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, it's been very gray and boring and yeah, I really miss the sun. So, but it's nice to sit here inside and you can hear the rain on the window pane, I think it's called. Um, so I've forced myself out into the rain uh, regularly to go for some short walk and runs because I want to, I don't want to like get in shape but I want to get in shape in my uh, condition you know so I need to reduce my diamond painting time or my cross stitch stitching time with like 30 minutes every second day so I can go out and if I do it now in this weather it can only get better so that's 
a mission of mine. And it's Billy barking because my husband is coming home. So maybe I should go out and talk with him. Hello. So yeah, I think I'll do that. Um, I'll be right back.
Oh my god, I'm so tired of myself. I have forgot to hit record on my sound. I'm sorry, you will have to deal with the sound on my mobile phone. I'm very, very sorry. Blame it on the tiredness. I'm like constantly tired. I know, I don't know if it's the weather or if it's something else. Let's do the leaves. It's 838. Eight. <clears throat> so, um, we don't celebrate um, Thanksgiving, but I would like to know what you guys have been doing for Thanksgiving. You know, those those of you who celebrated I actually like uh, I don't know exactly the background to why you celebrate Thanksgiving um, but I actually like the fact that you gather the family for a dinner and celebrating being thankful and that you actually give thoughts of it you know you actually stop and think what am I thankful for I think that's really nice Yeah, so I thought I was going to uh, diamond paint um, Mandy Manzano's The Tin Soldier. I saw that Stone Cold Coffee diamond paint that on Instagram. She's finished. I don't know when she's going to post her post review video of it. Uh, but I wanted to do that one for the Christmas month. But since I'm, I'm not going to finish this one, I think, before New Year, so uh, it will have to wait. But the next one I'm doing is for sure a Diamond Art Club. And I think I'm just going to do a small one. I noticed that I missed a couple of hearts. Whoops, that's a lot of... And I'm actually going to work like all Christmas and New Year and more or less every weekend up, up until Christmas. And it's because I'm choosing to do so. And instead I'll be off on the weekday, which I enjoy quite a lot. Um, Let's do one five four. It's the, you know, the grid, the the hashtag. So I've actually applied for a new position at work. I'm still at the hospital, but it is. The uh, what do you call that? Mm. You know, we have different. Oops. It sounds so wrong to say the boss position because um, but yeah, it's a step up. And that would mean I would have like um, like 22 employees, 
to care for and the budget and all that. And I was for I went for the interview today and they picked out two others as well for the interview and I was so nervous. So so nervous. So first you have like a 30 minute interview uh, with the employees. And the union. And they ask all kinds of questions. And then you go and have another 30 minutes interview with the other uh, bosses. And now the big boss, you know, the one who's, you know, like, um, the boss over the bosses couldn't be there today. So I've been called in for a private interview next week. And then he will make a decision, I guess. So yeah, I thought it was like over. <laughs> After that hour, you know, I was all sweating and, you know, tongue tied and yeah, I was being very honest and yeah, I don't know. I have a feeling it's not going to go my way. But I decided that if it doesn't, that's fine. I have lots of stuff to do at home where I can grow as a human being and as a person, yeah. And I will just be engaged at work. Is that how you say it, you know? I'm very nervous and well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Sometimes you can maybe be too honest on a job interview and I don't know if that's so good, but I don't want to lie either. Did I mention that uh, Grey's Anatomy Season 5 is out on Viaplay? And I watched like two or three first episodes. Last year when they released Season 14, I watched all of them from, from the first, you know, Season 1, Episode 1. <laughs> It, I, I think I mentioned that. It took me like two months to finish. I love that series. Yeah. And I don't want to, you know, watch everything right now because then uh, I, um, I will have to wait another year before they release season 16. And I know that they're showing 16 now on TV, but I've never watched Grey's Anatomy on TV. I've always waited until they released uh, like the episodes on a DVD pack or something. So. But I'm very curious. I saw some Facebook Page, I think they said that Christina is coming back next season. That's awesome if she does. That doesn't look straight. 
I'm having a bit of a glare. So it's a bit hard to see. And I don't like training wheels whatsoever. Nope. I don't like them. Yeah. Do I have a funny story? Do I have a funny story for you? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um, I don't think I have a funny story. And now the wax is dry. I need new wax. Um, I've been listening to Harry Potter. Um, I've finished book one, two, and three. So that that's really nice. I was in the right mood to start listening to to the series, and now I can't, you know, jump to another book. I really need to listen to all of them. It's just like the three first books or movies are kind of, you know, not boring, but I've seen them and listened to them so many times. And then you could say, well, skip them and you go to number four and go from there. But then I feel like guilty towards the first books. So I usually always have to listen <laughs> to all of them. So, but now I'm past those, so. They're very nice. And it's in Swedish, I'm listening to them in Swedish. But I'm starting to miss like a good fantasy story. You know, fantasy book of three to five books and you just get caught up in the great adventure that usually someone is sent out to, you know, save the world or something. Have any tips? Throw them in the comments, please. What's that? All the hashtags? I'm doing like this because I'm having the glare. I'm sure I'm going to miss some. I always do. I always do. It's so fun. And my mom, she finished her second diamond painting. Uh, her second was a diamond art club. So now she has started her custom made painting from moment ever moment. And she was like, my God, Linda, you need to get up and look at the, the drills. Look at the drills, feel them. And she was like, they're perfect. They're not too small. They're not too big. She was just crazy about them. So that was very nice to hear. Oh, let's see. I saw I missed some leaves over here. Do we have some more? Nope. Now I'm going to do the plus. color 150 yeah 
so the biggest thing is actually you know me applying for that job and being called to the interview so but i don't know if i want you to cross your fingers and toes for me to get it because It's kind of nice not to have those responsibilities as well. So, but I think I will be disappointed and sad if they choose one of the other um, appliers. But then that's that. Then I can let it go and just focus on something else. I joined Weight Watchers um, two weeks ago. I think it was three weeks ago, and I weighed in twice after that. Yeah, so I lost, I think it's around uh, three pounds. So I'm very happy about that. And what I'm most proud of is that I haven't touched any potato chips and no chocolate. But like a day today when I'm very tired, I'm very hungry, then I, all I want to do is make sandwiches and I don't want to eat sandwiches because when you're in the Weight Watchers, you count points and bread is a lot of points and I don't want I don't think it's worth it well I don't know where hell am I can you I miss my old camera I'm filming with my um color phone and it's not like auto photo focusing but the wax is just crazy crazy looks like strands of hair are coming out of there Yeah, Monday I was on this uh, fair health and yeah, it was like a health and trading fair, I guess. And, you know, it's about being inspired and getting motivation to move be healthy and sometimes you know going for these uh, it's not competitions when you run like new york, new york marathon there's part of it that's competition but there's also part of it for just you know anyone who wants to run a marathon and you meet people and you talk and you share the experience So yeah, I went to that place and I'm really, really, um, tempted to start a, it's called a classic. So you need to do four different, um, sports. You're, you're going to swim. You're going to bike, you're going to ski, and you're going to run, run or walk. And I did this some years back. And it was great fun. But the thing is, running is no problem. 
biking is no problem, swimming, no problem. But then you have the skiing, right? And when I did that thing the first time, I had never stood on a pair of skis. And I'm telling you, I fell and I fell and I fell. And you know, I'm not young. <laughs> so you fall hard and you hit yourself bad. And that is kind of fresh in my memory still, how hard I fell and hit myself. I'm just filling in symbols now that I've missed. But it would be so fun. You know, you don't even need to have snow. We have these tunnels um, with snow in, you know, fake snow. So you can, you know, do the thing, you know, your skiing part under the roof at any time of the year. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Let's do uh, 304. And I'm running out of things to talk about. And I'm, again, I'm so tired. So I don't know. Maybe I need some vitamins or something. So weird being this tired like all the time. Um, yeah. So I'm like, I'm considering this. I've asked other working colleagues because you do it through your work. It's connected like to all the hospitals and no, not just the hospitals, but the region we live in. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really, really considering this. And it's not like you don't have to do insane things, you know. You can choose your own, uh, again, not competition. I can't, rem uh, I can't find the word for it now. Like you don't have to run a marathon. You can run, you know, five kilometers. You don't have to swim, you know, to <laughs> that, that long. You can go to the, what do you call that? The swimming hole also inside and, you know, swim like 500 meters and that's, that's nothing. So you don't have to make it that big. It's just the skis because I know I still can't stand on them. I'm just going to fall. And when I hurt myself that bad, I didn't break anything, thank God. But when I fell and hurt myself, you know, the skis are like this, right? Straight. Like this. Skis. And when I fell, I fell to the side you know I was trying to turn so the skis went up like this and I sat down on it ay, 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 ay. the hematoma I got there oh yeah it was painful but I finished and I got my medal and all this so yeah but that fall is very fresh in my mind still I'm going to finish uh, this part later today or tomorrow maybe. Now I need to go get something to eat. I think I have some chicken, curry and couscous. And I'm going to get some greens for that and some water. I'm going to finish it off with a cup of coffee. So, um, I'm sorry I don't have that much to talk about. I know it sounds boring. I'm tired. I want to talk about cross-stitching, but 
I will keep that to my floss tube, so go check them out. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit subscribe, because then I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.